you know, back in the day, I used to say, <laughs> and this is when I was like a kid, you know, I used to be like, and people used to look at me like, what the hell are you talking about? It was like I was watching everything twist up. I was watching what everybody was doing, what people was doing, and I was able to see the outcomes. And I was like, that ain't going to work right. I was like, that's going to mess up the future. <laughs> and they would, they would look at me like I was crazy or disrespectful because I was young saying shit to adults. Like, don't do that. That's wrong. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're supposed to be the adult. And ultimately, <clears throat> I was able to watch circumstances end up leading to where they was going to go. And, you know, people are selfish as shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, we like we always feel like, think about it like this. Everybody quick to blame somebody for some shit. Like, it's white people. Uh, <laughs> it's these people, whatever. It's whoever. <laughs> Everybody always blaming somebody for some shit. But when you came out the womb, you was attached to two people who had all control over whatever they need to do in their life. And from that point, they were supposed to guide you in the right direction. Well, for the most part, people out here doing all types of shit, you know what I'm saying, just to maintain for they so They're not really taking responsibility for the actions that they do in this world. You got um this whole thing about the dynamic between men and females with their children. This is both. This is like as much aggressed as men are behind females. Females are thottish. They want to fill as many, as many fucking dicks as possible. Excuse my French, but it's the truth. You can't take advantage of a female unless you physically take her somewhere. That's something different. Like, coyotes and shit like females is not about to get played like that unless that's what they want so like not for nothing you have levels of men that are weaker in dna structure and some of the weaker men are running the fucking country that's why they let laws go the way they is these fuckers that are running the country they weak as shit and they little dudes they got the little man complex so they out here like no, nah, we're going to make these laws for this and this. So I don't want little Timmy going through something. Or I don't want Jenny getting hurt. All these subsequent values spawn from people like you. You know what I'm saying? Like, ultimately being against the dynamic version of, of true growth. Nobody wants to grow for real. You don't want to look at the real problem. The real problem that exists in each and every individual person takes time for you to study. And that's love in itself. So if you take the time to learn an individual, the problems that are going to exist with each person is going to be a story within itself. No, we walk around in this world thinking that we know everything. Oh, I know what they go. I know what they talking about. I know what this is. I know what that is. You would rather defeat the purpose of even being in a conjunction of having knowledge. Just to say, or to feel adequate in yourself, lack thereof, or what you think you know. The Bible said, you don't know shit. I don't even give a damn how much you learn. You'll never know shit. But amongst us, we feel like we know everything. We can't even humble ourselves. Even in, even in religion, people are so dogmatically hard with the Bible, they don't see that they wrong. They believe as long as they holding that book, they going to be right. You got some people that believe as long as they hold on to their culture, they right. Well, let me show y'all something. <clears throat> Unconditional love is a universal language. Divine don't make mistakes. People do. So divine didn't make a mistake when he put unconditional love in different cultures in the way they can speak. Or feel. Unbeknownst to us, that feeling resonates in every single culture. Unbeknownst to you, whether you say it different, it still resonates the same. This is why unconditional love is a language. So even if I can't speak to you, 
my intentions to prove me worthy. The vibe I give out should prove me connectable. See, this world, especially in America, y'all talk too fucking much. That's all everybody want to do is talk. Nobody want to listen. And listening ain't always listening to words. It's vibing. It's sitting down and being still. And just hearing the motion. The breath. The silence. The intention. It's about you and how well you produce your senses for yourself because the strongest senses in one area will reverberate down to the lowest, which is subsequently rising all the senses up. This is why you be a beacon of truth. Truth is just not what you speak, it's how you live, it's how you see. divine don't need no middlemen everything is an unconditional love conversation if it came through buddha if it came through krishna if it came through christ if it came through allah if it came through uh ra if it came through um um obatala if it came through anywhere if it came through hali salai hali asalai it, it, it if it came through anywhere it's still it's still for the region it's for the particular reason to express love or to bring people to their highest version of love that was transcending them from that point to another classification of love. This is graduation. Each level of spirituality, it doesn't stay in one spot. Collectively, for each area it is, it's growing. You're not supposed to be able to vibe directly with the lessons of the area. You're not from there. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you how dynamic this is. All right, drugs in the country because you had Ronald Reagan and whoever that fuck ass dude that was one of the presidents before that put the war on drugs and they talked all this shit and all the white people stirred up all the information about drugs. Everybody in this country believed that has something to do with God. Plain and simple. Like, I don't give a fuck. Facts, and I'm not advocating for them, but I'm telling you something that's true. Because of what Ronald Reagan and the other president did, the Dare Club, and the war on drugs, y'all believe that God has something to do with that. Has nothing to do with none of that. Anything can be volatile in an um, um, unrespectable situation. And if it's distributed in an, un in an unrespectable situation, you're causing volatility. That's just like if I take if I take bleach and I mix it with baking soda, it's going to start foaming. If I mix it with um, peroxide and baking soda, it's going to start foaming. But if I do a lot of that, it's going to explode. That's me add adding the vo volatility a lot. We don't take responsibility and we don't point responsibility out to how things taking place. Yes, who don't know fire is hot? Yes, motherfuckers know that. But if I go to Brazil, these people are naturally down here chewing whole cocaine trees. That's their area. That's where they come from. I'm supposed to go down there and be like, well, in America, it's wrong. So y'all shouldn't be doing this. <laughs> Same, man. Divine put things here in a certain way to where they be. Man takes it and chemically changes it to something else and destroys the population. And then we blame the population from being mixed up with manipulation. <laughs> There's not no unconditional love here. You know what I'm saying? People don't want to sit down and look at that. You'd rather jump past the problem because you don't want to assert how it's actually taking place and what the mechanics is to actually untie the situation. See, it's a way to fix everything that's existing. And fear played a role in why a lot of things are going the way they is. How you think you're going to rise and leave your people behind? Ain't no half and half. That's what they want to believe. That's what they want you to believe. They want you to believe, yeah, y'all can go and lead them. 
No, this is why you think the divine said I'm of the people. I'm 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 of the people, but not a part of the people. Yeah, you're gonna be around. You're gonna be around in the darkest, dirtiest parts. Cause you're gonna pull everybody out. Ain't nobody getting left. Ain't nobody getting left behind. It's a work. So that means you gotta over understand and understand what, what the hell is really going on. And you can't be out here side. I mean, like intention is a mother. That's why Divine says, I feel your heart. Your heart is where your attention is. It's connected to your brain, to your mind. So everything in your mind, subsequently, your real intentions go into your heart. So the most I can just take that chip out your heart. Let me see what you're thinking. What's going on with you? What you really feel? We don't know none of that. We're just controlled by fear. So if, you know what I'm saying, authority parties say this and say that, oh, well, the most high must be don't want us to. I ain't got nothing to do with that. You can manipulate anybody into being volatile. How well will you get manipulated back into being in unconditional love? Take apart the pieces. So therefore, I can show you why you was manipulated. Let me show you why they did this. Let me break down the science of what this plan actually is and show you why you was manipulated. Instead of me telling you it's a plant, taking it, breaking it down, carbon, mixing it up, and then putting it in the streets and say, hey, I don't know how it got there. We deal with the worst liars in the world. You talking about a plant that got to go through a 200-step process to be produced into drugs. But you don't know nothing about that. Then it's shipped and manufactured and brought here. The people who wasn't even living, leaving this motherfucker. Wasn't going nowhere. If anything, they was doing was smoking weed. And weed ain't no drug. You can smoke sage and get damn near the same effect. Or worse. You eat with that. See, what I'm saying is things that are too potent for other other cultures or something that other cultures don't understand. They want to they wanna deem it illegal or they want to deem it wrong. When in fact, you don't use things the way you see fit. See, it's science to each, every, every place. But if you are dogmatically controlled by the aspect of how things work, you'll never know the truth about shit. You can go somewhere else. You'd be like, word, that's what y'all really do with that? Oh, word, that's how that really works? But you ain't going to know that because you come here and see it on a TV or see it on a movie or get it in, in retrospect to where somebody wants to damage it, then you think that's the reality. Blind that we are. Naga.